and we're off. Rose is creating something that is for Mother's Day but a bit different than you would expect here at Real Time Florals. We have a really beautiful vase, uh, comes from Dillewijn Swapark of Florida. Um, and we have a technique with an elastic band around the neck of the vase where you can put the vines in between. And as you can see, it is a bit of a struggle in the beginning, but once you practice this technique, I will promise you, you will create structures really easy and really quick. So add your vines to the elastic band. If you need a bit more security, you can add two elastic bands. Uh, helps you a little bit, but already with one, it's good to do. You tie off the vines really tight, as you can see, and then it's time to just play with all the vines. You can connect them individually, but you can also use three or four at one time. And basically, it's just playing with the vines. These are dry materials. It's not really a vine, it's more like the inner layer between the bark of the tree and the tree itself. Um, and it works really nice. Beautiful material to work with. Of course, these are a bit, well, tough and rough. If you want to make them more flexible, you can just place them for an hour in a bit of water. They can or you can buy them basically as a bundle. So we can have them in the natural look as it is, but as you can see lying on the table there, we also have the bleach variety. Uh, really nice material. And we see that the structure is really getting there. Pink Rose is almost finished. We have about five minutes on the clock. So five minutes in this real time floral. And why do we do these real-time florals? Basically to show you that commercial working is not only about making something simple, uh, it's also about time management. So how do you manage your time in your creation and still get a really cool, different result? So putting in the loose ends, making sure that it's the way you like. You can see a little bit of gravel underneath in the container. Always nice to use that. We can add, of course, different colors of gravel. And the nice thing is that all the materials that you see here come from Dillerlang. So it's a one-stop shop where you can, as a florist, get everything you need. So I'm very curious what will be the next step. I'm looking at this the same way you are. So it's gonna be the scabiosa. These are dried, dried scabiosa. You can cut them one by one, but they don't need water, so you can cut them short, making it easy to place them in the structure. They have a little color, so they're a little colored with natural coloring material, dried scabiosa. And a nice thing of working in this way that we create a structure that probably we can reuse time and time again. So scabiosas are going in using the structure and this gives a really nice look and feel in the structure, really draws your attention And I think she's ready, yep, she's ready for the tea burner. Really nice material, soft, delicate material. If you have a good quality of this, and we have a lot of growers in Holland that we beautiful quality, then you will have a long time pleasure with these flowers. You can see Rose smile because sometimes it's difficult to get them apart from each other but it's working and it really brightens up the structure, giving that really nice look. And that was really quick. And of course, if this is not really your color, maybe the bleached one is better. So we have two designs 
ready for Mother's Day.